Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 1110. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to the Wild Doc. That's where we hold all of our full end videos, and we sure do appreciate when you stop by and show some support. What we're talking about today is lengthening the calf, all right? I've shown both of these exercises in the past, um, but the important thing to know is when to go from one to the other, right? So this is one of my favorite calf mobilizations where we just go ahead and we mobilize the ankle into two different positions, right? When we say mobilize the ankle, we're basically talking about lengthening this tissue in the back of the leg. If we keep our leg straight, our knee straight into full extension, and I bring my hip towards the wall, right? I'm going to be able to get my two joint hip flexors. If I bend my knee, I slack those two joint, I said hip flexors, I slack those two joint uh, ankle extensors and I'm able to now get like the soleus rather than the gastro, right? But if I'm doing this for days and I'm not getting the results I want, it's time to move on to what we call an eccentric stretching mechanism or eccentric lengthening, all right? And it's very simple to just move over to the stairs. Now, if I do the same thing, if I allow myself to get into a position which I would consider to be a calf stretch, right? The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go up all the way, shorten the tissue as much as I can, so that means I'm going to extend or plantar flex uh, the ankle as much as I can. I'm gonna now, again, concentrate on the same left ankle, slowly let myself down. We're talking three to five seconds to get into that full stretch. Hold it there for a second. Use the other leg to help myself back up. Three to five seconds all the way down. Hold it there for a second and repeat. Why am I doing this? I'm putting the muscle under tension just like if I was holding a weight and flexing and I'm slowly allowing it to extend out, right? This helps us because we take a tissue that's under contraction and we slowly lengthen it, all right? So it's a different mechanism than taking a tissue that's loose and trying to extend it farther, okay? So different contraction or different lengthening mechanism, but both of them can help, both of them have, the, uh, have their, their place, right? So if you're trying for days, months, weeks to stretch this way and you're not getting any length, Go on to a stair and try that eccentric way of lengthening. Cool? Questions, comments, um, please jump on down to the bottom and write anything you need. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And until tomorrow, we're Optimizing Function to Optimize Performance.